Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful day here in Orlando. It's the beginning of February. I'm very excited. It's a new update today. I'm gonna show you guys a 500 gallon tank and a 400 gallon tank that we have together. You guys previously seen them shortly around, but we never done an update on this specific tank. We call it the 15 foot reef. It's a nine foot reef and a six foot reef. Also, I got some big news that I wanna share. You guys know we've been working on a little secret project. I've been quiet about it. So we're gonna give you a little more hint about it. So follow me inside. We're gonna show you guys today. Let's go. It's a maintenance day, you guys, today. Look, you guys can see to my right, everything is off. It's super early. It is right now, a uh, quarter till nine o'clock in the morning. Pentagon, the lights are, look, coming on in the mangrove back there. Everything is dark. You guys don't get to see all this behind the scenes, but we get a team that comes here at six o'clock in the morning every single day to do maintenance. They leave around two o'clock. So when you guys come in, everything looks like magic. Everything is nice and clean. But anyhow, come on in. Watch your step, guys. So the one behind me, it's a nine foot reef. It's been running for about a year and a half. You guys seen in the very back of the store to the left of the 1500. It is 100% Aquapora dominated, except for the one clam that we have in there that you guys seen. We started every single frag in here from small plugs. You can actually come in into the store if you ever hear. When you guys look a little bit close, you can see all the Aquaporas, they have a round little circle below them. Every single Aquapora here started a year and a half from a single one inch frag, it's doing amazing. For lighting, we're using, as always, we're using the Ecotech Radeon 6. We have six of them. Uh, they go for about five hours up to 100%. The rest is some blue. A lot of rare fish. We have the black and white damsels. We have the blonde nasal. We got the pyramid butterfly, copper band butterfly. We have pair of fish in there, a couple of rasses, and a couple of nice angel fish. We have a little bit of everything, guys. Uh, the fish are doing very well. They're getting along very, very good. Also, you guys can see the flow. We have uh, one MP60 all the way on the right on the peninsula. We have three gyres, so the large ones, one back there and two on this side. Uh, the flow has been very, very hard to manage in this tank. The reason being is, as you guys can see, I told you earlier, this tank is from here to all the way over there. It's nine feet long and it is 42 inches wide. So when we're delivering the flow, we have to be very aggressive coming from this end. And every time we did that, the sand used to live here very heavy and it used to blow all over the place. So now what we did, we threw some calcium reactor media on this side and it solved our problem because it's so much heavier, so much dense than sand, so it doesn't blow all over the place. This tank also, with this tank that is next to us, is a six foot reef. That's what we call them together, the 15 foot reef. Uh, they share the same sump. Uh, it's a very simple sump. It's an 80 gallon tank, frag tank, that we turn into a sump. It's got an IOS quantum protein skimmer. It's got two of the Vectra L1 pumps one for each tank and if you guys can see we have a do-it-yourself basket that we made right inside it actually has just some pvc legs some acre and some filter socks so basically this is a 400 gallon tank this is a 500 gallon tank the 400 gallon tank right here is got mainly lps a lot of high-end stuff uh we have tons of goniopores a little goniopora garden here we have some very rare recordias some rainbow chalices there. For flow in this tank, we went a little bit lighter on the flow. We only used two gyre power heads and we only turned them to about 40%. But uh, also, we still have a lot of plans for this tank. As you guys can see, there's still plenty of room to grow more LPS and some softies in here. This tank, we literally, we put coals, I wanna say maybe six to seven months ago. So it's fairly new as far as with the coals in there. Everything is doing fantastic. Also on this tank, we also have four radion lights, a generation six. We only turn them to about 55% right now. Uh, the white lights, they only come on for about three to four hours per day. It's got the rest of the time, it's about 10 hours altogether. The rest of the time is all blue. So if you guys have any questions with the lights, we done a video for Movius with Josh. Also Josh and Thomas from Bulk Reef Supply from BRS. They, when he came down here, they did a video together uh, talking about the new uh, G6 radion lights. There was tons of good information there. We're gonna post the link below. And this time we have a Bellows Angel pair. We also have a good old yellow tank. We also have a copper band butterfly. We love copper band butterflies around here. Look, copper band butterfly is a very finicky fish. However, if you want to keep your tank free of aptaceous, you have to live with one of them. There is no other way around it, period. You have to have a copper band butterfly. Also, peppermint shrimps can be good for that. But anyone that knows this will tell you a copper band butterfly can turn on you and start eating your corals. So my best recommendation is get one that is already eating frozen food when you go to your local fish store. 
And if that's the case, make sure you're feeding the fish three to four times per day so it doesn't gain, it doesn't gain any interest on in your high expensive high-end corals, you know? Some of my favorite corals, I can't help it, but just to do this banana grill tours right here is incredible. Some of this going to pour is just pink, purplish on the stem with bright yellow uh, heads on the top. This Ricordia is so different, you have to see it in person to understand it. I'm in love with this morph of candy apple reds and no candy apple reds. They're different, they're way, way brighter. There's a lot of new corals that are gonna be coming here. Me looking at it, I wanna add more rainbow chalices in here. I wanna, uh, I wanna add more blastomuses, more goniopuras, and more mushrooms. That's what I wanna concentrate on. So you guys can see all the space that we still have. So I'll tell you what, when we do the next update, this tank, it should be, uh, we'll do it in about six to eight months from now. And this tank right now, obviously you guys can see the colonies are turning a lot larger. But this one right here, by the time we add the few frags, which is gonna be in the next few weeks, give it six to eight months, it will look like a full grown reef. So I'll be glad to show you guys an update by then. All right guys, so we show you everything about these tanks today, but I can help it to give you a quick shot of the 1500. I always have to show you guys a little cloudy. The guys just did a water change. You guys can see the big holes right there on the ground. However, I'm gonna have Jimmy give you a quick 30 second B-roll from the top. It's gonna blow your brains away. Alright guys, enough of me with talking about these tanks. I am super, super pumped. I'm not even kidding you guys. Check this out. I've been trying to hold this for a while. It's, ah, it's hard. I want to tell you guys right now, but I can't. No, just yet, yeah, because I got to keep you guys on your toes. All I can tell you guys, you guys see me about a little over a month ago. We went to Homestead, Florida, in South Florida. We went to see our friend Mark and Joe Caparata from uh, Marco Rocks to see their facility. And you guys saw us that we picked some very cherry pieces. We literally, we, we basically cherry picked the entire facility, right? So we cherry picked well over 2,000 pounds of rock. Why would you need 2,000 pounds well over? Not just 2,000, well over 2,000 pounds. Why would we need 2,000 pounds of giant pieces of rock? All I can tell you guys that it involves lots of <laughs> Hopefully, I'm gonna keep giving you guys more hints. Stay tuned, you will find out a lot more information here in the near future. All right, guys, we have a little game that we're gonna be playing also today. We're gonna hide Casper throughout the video somewhere. Somewhere there, we're gonna hide him. First one to DM us on Instagram. You have to follow us on Instagram in order to win. First one to DM us on Instagram with where the fish is, we will send you. I don't care where you are in the world, we will send you a package with some swag to you. Some stickers, maybe a shirt, a little bit of that. We're gonna surprise you. First one to DM us, we'll get it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Give us a like if you have any comments. Post them below, we'll be glad to answer them for you. We'll see you guys soon.